What's going on YouTube? This your boy Negro up a little coming at y'all with another video. How was y'all New Year? Mine was good. For real. I stayed with the family and that's what matters. Happy first. But no, my real topic today is about the Rune Factory 4 and my opinions and thoughts on the game. I've played about 17 hours so far into it. <laughs> <clears throat> that game is pretty dang fun and it keeps you busy um it has a lot of aspects of harvest moon and you know a lot of you know uh, it, it's just that nostalgic feel it's just i i played like almost like i want to say 200 hours 200 to 300 hours in harvest moon for the 64 and I racked up about a hundred million bucks, <laughs> two hundred. Like I was up there, and you know, I just, I just like this game. The fact that you can create, you know, your own farm. You can, you know, have your own life. Basically, you can have your own wife, you know, and have a whole scene and everything. Like how you dictate your life is how you play this game. You know, you could be the crappiest prince ever. You could be the best prince ever. You know, it, it all solely depends on you. So, I mean, this will probably be, you know, the last game I run out and buy. I mean, I'm thinking about Bravely Default. I'm thinking about Fantasy Life. I don't know. I, I don't think that I could play a game that is, like, geared to just one genre of how you live, like, Fantasy life is how you live and you can't get out of it type thing. If you're a cook, you're a cook. If you're, you know, prostitute, you're prostitute. It's that simple. Like, it's no, unless I'm wrong, unless one of you guys beat it, it doesn't seem like a game that's beatable. Like, there's no boss at the end that you just have to beat, you know, because I don't think you're going to hit somebody with a frying pan. I don't know. Nintendo might do it. Nintendo might do it. I don't know. We'll find out. I might get both, you know. But you know, when you're on a when you're on a, a, a tight gaming budget, man, and you got other bills to take care of and stuff like that, it's not no time for you to be experimenting. <laughs> but yeah, um, the game was dope. I give it probably an eight, you know, on the RPG scale. I'll give it an eight. You know, it has a nice battle system. You know, it's, I didn't expect it to be, you know, all in your hands, you know, and you. It's not turn-based, you know. I, I I really was surprised with that. Um, I mean, it's it's a pretty good RPG for a handheld, you know. It's it's pretty dang good, you know. I actually ran out of battery on my 3DS from full playing this game straight out. Normally, I stop after I first open the game, but I didn't stop with this. So yeah, um, just give me a comment in the session below uh, what you thought about Room Factory 4. You think this game is a good title? Do you think I should get another game on top of this right after I beat it to keep up the RPG feel for the 3DS or whatever? Like, I mean, I need to keep this 3DS alive, you know, because, you know, it's kind of turning out to me being a single player junkie on the 3DS because my cousin threw his away and, you know, I don't got a lot of friends that, that really play. So, you know, all due time and all in due time. Alright, deuces, hit me up. Next video dropping soon.